In this demonstration, we'll see how Force Point 1 helps organizations adopt Zero Trust Network Access, or ZTNA, quickly and easily. Meet Linda Vaughn. Linda is an IT admin who manages Force Point 1 for Agency X. She now has a need to provide her team remote access to Splunk. The agency has adopted a policy that Splunk should not be exposed to the internet or unauthorized individuals. Let's look at what components will be used from Force Point 1 to follow the policy. In this case, Force Point 1 is where the app is going to be published and will allow users that access Force Point 1 to reach the customer data center and ultimately reach Splunk. From right to left here, you have the IT application, which is Splunk, that's being accessed by the ZTNA connector. The ZTNA connector's job is to communicate with the IT application and then do a one-way push out to Force Point 1 over an HTTP or HTTPS connection. That's how Linda will allow users remote access to the Splunk app. Here's how she does it. First, Linda logs in to the administrative console. She wants to add a policy, so she clicks to add one under Protect, then Policies. She then sets up the ZTNA app service by choosing any HTTP slash S ZTNA app slash service. Okay, she starts the setup by naming the application. In this case, she names it FP1 Splunk and choosing an icon for it. And we see that she chose the Splunk logo. The destination is the actual server itself, the local server on the network. From there, she designates how they'll get to the service. She designates the port number and the data center. She then navigates to policies to determine who should have access to Splunk. She defines the groups for whom she would like to designate access for the app with groups like the IT group, engineering, and so on. She then defines where they're going to be accessing the app from. Linda wants to restrict the locations the app can be accessed from to only the US and Canada. She saves her work, and from there, she'll test the configuration from the user portal. She logs into the portal test page, and she can see that Splunk has been published and is now reachable by the workforces that are authorized to use it. As you can see, the data is now being populated in Splunk and her configuration was successful. So she set up secure remote access to the Splunk app and only those team members with access that are located in the US or Canada will be able to access the service. Let's review what we just saw. So, Linda wanted to provide her remote team access to Splunk and Force Point 1 ZTNA allowed her role-based access to the Splunk app. She created a ZTNA secure connection between Force Point 1 Cloud and on-prem, allowing her team to access Splunk securely in under five minutes. Linda was able to use Force Point 1 to validate access to Splunk remotely and make sure that agency policy is followed with the location and service parameters that she set. And she did it all quickly and easily with Force Point 1. Mm -hmm.